Hello there, and welcome to a new video. So, I'm not even gonna lie, I have already recorded this video, but when I thought I pressed record, I didn't. I pressed uh, to turn it off, so uh, I've just done recording this video again. So, th this is my first impressions on the uh, Michelin City Grip 2s, but I'm gonna uh, pull over and speak about them rather than doing it on the move. I think I can get them all up, more off my chest when I'm a stationary. I'm really pissed off the fact that I didn't click record the first song because I went up Clint Hills and it was that. I reckon it would have been a banger of a video. really weird because I've actually filmed this video already <laughs> um, but obviously it went fucking recording it would have been a banger as well I went all around Clint Hills I explored and everything yeah I've literally just popped into my work and I was on my way home and then I thought someone told me just check the footage just check the footage so I checked it on my phone nothing there nothing well there was but when I clicked record it actually turned it off so yeah I didn't even get an intro or anything, so, yeah. So, if I haven't already done an intro, hello there, and welcome back to a new video. So, yeah, today it's my first thoughts on the Michelin City Grip 2s. So, I've got a woman watching me really fucking weirdly, but I don't care. So, yeah, Michelin City Grip 2s. So, these are the bad boys, right there. So, I've done... I don't know how many miles I've done. I've done... 45 miles on these so far. And they already feel so much better than the stock tyres on the CNC. Um, honestly, it's unreal. <laughs> um, obviously, this is just my first initial thoughts on them. I'm going to do a... When I've done about a few thousand miles on... I'll do a follow-up video and see how I've got on with them, etc. And just give my opinion. Because it is personal pref and it is personal preference when it comes to stuff like this. And I know. So I chose the Michelin City Group 2s, right? Why did I choose them? I hear you all screaming at me. So the reason I chose them was I knew I was going for Michelin. I just knew it. I just fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was going for Michelin. It was just a matter of what Michelin I was going for. So, at first I was looking at the street pilots. Uh, Toby's got her money, he's wise at F. Jack has her money, he's Apache. Uh, and I know a few other people on Instagram have them. And I know that I've ridden on them. Not on the TNT, but I've rode Toby's wise at F and I've rode Jack's Sinus Apache. And I know they are very good tyres. But... I wanted something that was a wet and dry compound, just mingled together type of thing. Um, so I didn't know what sort of thing I was I wanted at first, but I knew it was Michelin. Then I came across the Michelin City Grips. I believe I could be very wrong, but I believe the old MTs MT one two fives used to come with the Michelin City Grips on. I could be wrong. It might have been the Street Pilots, but I think it was the City Grips. Um, so yeah, we had, had that on the drawing board, and then I thought, but I don't want to just pick the first tyre I see, what other tyres do Michelin do? So after a bit of research, I discovered the winter grips. Now, I was set on the winter grips, when I say I was set on the winter grips, I mean, nothing was changing my mind, I wanted the winter grips, I was getting the winter grips, but then, summer... I don't know what it was. I think it might be in an Instagram post. Or it was an advert from Michelin on Instagram. And it was advertising there. Which, uh, Michelin, Michelin City Grip 2s. Now I didn't have a fucking clue. What the City Grip 2s were. But I saw the crazy tread pattern on them. And I thought. More tread. More grip. Uh, I don't know. And then I thought. You know what Max. Why don't you do some research. So. There I was, on my computer, typed it all in, done some research, spoke to the people at QB, Dale, 
if you're watching, shout out to you. And I said, what do you have any, any experience with these tyres? And what do they feel like? Also spoke to a fella down Red Line in Longbridge. Um, and he and everyone said it will change the feeling of the bike. You'll it will literally you won't you basically you won't you won't regret it. You won't regret your decision. So I thought, oh, everyone's bigging it up. I was getting hyped up from. But then I thought, what are the difference between the winter grips and the city grips? And then I was told that the city grip twos are actually combined Michelin city grips and winter grips all mingled into one. The they've had babies and these are them so I've been told these are absolutely phenomenal in the winter in the shitty conditions that we've got now and I've been told these are absolutely f also phenomenal in the dry and honestly the amount of confidence these tyres have given me I'm still wearing them in so I'm still cautious and that but instantly the grip the front end just feels so planted the grip is phenomenal and on it, I don't I don't rag my bike around in this weather I'll open her up a bit but I don't like absolutely demolish her type of thing. But what I am doing is, I'm just taking it easy and just enjoying the tyre. Getting to know the tyre a bit. Knowing to where I can't lean too fast into that corner because I know I lose a bit of grip or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I do, I'm do. i getting to grips with it, should I say. Um, but apart from getting to grips with them... I think they're brilliant and I can't wait for the summer to come because these are gonna I'm gonna need a new set because honestly I'm, I'm pushing these next year next year these tires I'm pushing these to their limit and not only am I pushing the tires to the limit this bike next year I want to travel a lot so I wanna just be able to jump on the bike just go wherever I want. The world is my oyster, essentially. Obviously, it won't be abroad. It, it, I know 100% fact, it won't be abroad. But anywhere in the UK, listen, there isn't a place that I wouldn't go. Like, I've, Wales is a definite. I am 100% going to Wales. So, in the comments below, drop me where I should go in Wales. And if I've got any of my followers that live in Wales, I know Spikey lives in Wales, I'd love to ride with Spikey on his CNC, so I might see if we can organise something, so organise when I'm going to Wales, I want to get a, a group of the boys as well, I want all of us to go to Wales, not just me, all of us, go to Wales, ride with Spikey and his mates, because I know Blake, Blake lives in Wales as well, I follow him on Instagram, fucking love his bike, and yeah, I just want to literally make the most of next year, because this whole lockdown and stuff like that has actually made me realise that how much I took for granted before where I'd be like, do you know what? I can't be asked to go ride today. But then, when I came into lockdown, I was like, I want to go and ride, I want to go and ride. So, it gave me that shunt up my ass to say, do you know what? So next year, oh, I obviously you don't know because the f I didn't press fucking record. Um, My YouTube channel next year, I only want to put out the best content I can possibly make. I don't want to just put out content that I've made that I think's all right. So I'm, like this year, because I've got videos scheduled from this year every Sunday up to Christmas. That literally every Sunday until next year is done, done and dusted. At the moment, I'm making videos for every Wednesday, but I'm going to stop that in I don't know when, probably just before Christmas. Because I want to start making some festive videos and get you guys hyped for Christmas. Because I don't know about you, but I'm hyped for Christmas. I'm trying to get fucking tinsel. And I can't say much more. i got to keep it hush. Because me and Jack have a fucking sick video idea. I'm trying to convince Jack to make a YouTube channel. He's already got his Insta. Follow him up. JH underscore Supermoto. Toby needs to make a fucking bike Insta. Like, legit. I'm trying to get all of my people just on, on the gram. Just, just gas it up big time because uh, I love my friends. And, and I'm trying to convince my missus to get a bike as well. But uh, I don't think she'd have a TNT or a gram. I think she'd suit a supermoto, which suits me fine. Because 
essentially, she's got my bike, I've got hers, or should say, what's hers is mine, what's mine is mine. <laughs> but yeah, you'll fucking love it. So next year, on to big and better things, we're not, we're not drooping around anymore, not, we're just gonna ride, 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 like, next year, the two, the two things that are on my mind, well, three things, family and wealth, family and health, sorry, not wealth, family and health, making sure all my family members, my girlfriend, everybody in my family, even my friends, making sure they're all good and healthy, and they're all good, because mental health has slept on way too much, so, checking up on them, I want to do it more, I want to, Go and see people, see family that I haven't seen in a while. I want to work. I've got I've got a decent job. So, work. I want to get as much money saved as I possibly can. Um, and then third, travel. I want to travel. Whether it be on the bike or off the bike. Me and my missus have dis- discovered adventuring. So, going for nice walks and stuff like that. She drives a car. So next year, and I want to do some st- fun stuff with her as well. So obviously that won't be re- recorded or anything like that, because she don't want to be on camera. So which is fair enough. But yeah, I just want to get out there and just explore the world. Like there's so much that people haven't explored. It's so like Clint. Clint is what 20 minutes away from my house. Not even that. Right. Like, I've been up there when I was a kid. Loved it. But now I'm on a bike. I can go anywhere I want. Apart from motorway, anywhere I want. So I'm so fucking excited. But yeah, I'm going to jump back on the bike. Just carry on speaking to you guys. I'll probably go on a little jolly before I go home. And yeah, I just want to say, the world is your oyster. Don't let nothing stop you from doing what you want to do. Fuck barriers. Break barriers down. Don't let nothing fucking stop you. So yeah, that's my little motivational speech over. Let's jump back on the bike. Also, this is the car park that I've done my uh, review with, uh, Steep Riders. So, if you haven't already, go and check that out. It's on their YouTube channel, Steep Riders. Fucking love their content. Just look. I love uh, Nathan in general, to be fair. Just such a sound guy. That's another thing as well. Next year, we need Nathan, we need to meet up. We need to go for a fat ride. Do we go? Fetch or not, I'm going to go right. So excited for what the future holds. But what go, what do you guys have planned next year? I've been listening to T Pop One's uh, podcast, and I know someone asked a question like, "What plans have you got for next year?" To T Pop One, uh, TMF, um, and Lamb Chops and Richie Vida. Um, but I know a lot of them have said they're not doing anything really because I obviously don't know what's happening with COVID, which is a fair point to be fair. I'm not planning everything. I, I'd love to just sit there and write, but that hotel for that night, that hotel for that night, but I physically can't. One, I can't afford to do it and lose the money. And two, I just, I'd rather just sit down with the lads and say, right, what dates are you free? And we'll, uh, we'll go and do something. Because it's more raw that way. So yeah, like, literally on our doorstep we have so many nice roads, but they're just, nobody really wants to explore them, well, in fact I like, I, I'm not even going to bullshit as I used to be that person that hated exploring or I didn't want to explore, I just wanted to ride our roads and just do my thing, I didn't want to go on any B roads and explore, I just wanted to ride nice tarmac tie roads I want to pull over and get a view of the scenery but I don't know where I can pull in can I pull in here? I can, yes smashing that's why I love riding a bike so I'll do the outro here before I forget. So uh, if you like this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, smash the notification bell. 
If you've got any questions, drop it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And then, last of all, just follow me on Instagram and it's a massive preview. It's like an OnlyFans, basically. <laughs> Only joking. Roll the outro!